Hey, what's up? This is Preston with Solid City Guitar, and in this video, we're going to go over the 10 most important chords that every beginner must know first and the best fingerings for those chords so that your chord changes will be fast. So let's get started. All right, so the first chord is an E minor. Don't worry about the name of why it's a major, why it's a minor, and this is how you play it. You're going to play the sixth string, zero, which is just open, your second finger middle finger is going to go on the fifth string second fret third finger on the fourth string second fret like so okay all right now we're going to do a e major chord zero two three one zero zero it's the exact same thing but now your first finger is going to um, press on the third string, first fret. E minor, E major. Now this is critical because a lot of times teachers, or people online I should say, tell you to play E minor like this. Do you see how easy I'm making this stuff? Let's go on. A minor. You don't play the sixth string, but you're going to do it like this. You're going to play the fifth string open, and then it's quite literal. Actually, just do this. Play with the E minor again. Shift your fingers down. Well, technically, just the E major. Move everybody down one. Does that make sense? So, do you see how these two almost look exactly alike? All right. Moving on to the fourth one. A major. So again, we're not going to play the sixth string. We're going to go zero, two, three, four, zero. So if we go back to our A minor, now we don't need this finger. You can lift that one up. But now pinky is going to go right there. Boom. Just like so. Now, like I just mentioned that I'm going to give you the best fingerings. Do you, did you notice this? Very, very important, and there's way more chords that are based off of this little motion as well. The problem that you run into is if you're doing, let's say, A major like this, and then A minor, and then uh, you're just causing more movement, and you're just making it harder on yourself. So um, if you've been doing it that way, I'm going to invite you to change and do it this way. It'll, in the long run, it'll be way better for you. All right, so that's four of them. Let's move on. So the next one, we're going to do a C chord. And again, we're not going to play on the sixth string. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so this guy, we're going to put your first finger on the second string, first fret. Middle finger on the fourth string, second fret. And ring finger on the fifth string, third fret. And let me back up here. See, I'm holding the guitar. None of that. If you're holding the guitar like this, thumb way over top, doing all this crazy stuff. All right, the goal here is not to help you speed up your chords. I have other lessons for that, but I just want to point that out. All right, that's C major. Uh, in music theory, if it's uh, just a letter like that, a C, you'd call it C or C major. Okay, and the next, let's do a let's do an F chord, the dreaded F chord. Everyone's so scared of the F chord, but it's really simple. Wait a second. That almost looks just like the C. C chord, right? And then you shift those two fingers down. Is there a bar chord version of the F? Yes, there is. There's a bar chord version of every one of these chords. We can have other videos for bar chords, okay? And last, let's do D minor. All right, so D minor, we're not going to play on strings 5 and 6, and we're going to go like this, 0, 2, 3, 1. So how this breaks down is like so. Right there, so, right, you've seen me do this before, it's like this, man. Thumb is right in the back, this is pinching, third string, second fret, boom, ring finger, Tags along right there, and then you. All right, 
there's your D minor. Okay, what do we got? We've got seven. We're almost done. And next chord, let's do a G chord. We're gonna go like so. Four, zero, 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 two, one. Now, this one's gonna be really offensive for some people because I know they like to do this with a ring finger and don't do that. I'm gonna show you a much better way and I'll show you why. So again, sorry, I'll let me get ahead of myself. Pinky on the first string, third fret. Then your second finger, first finger on the fifth string, second fret, and second finger on the sixth string, third fret. All right, yes, I know a lot of people like to do this. That actually causes a little bit of tension in there. Let me come back to why this pinky's better in a second besides that reason. The D chord, D major, we're gonna go X, X, and kind of like the D minor that we had down here, this guy, it's gonna be kind of similar, just one note difference. We're gonna go zero, and then we're gonna go, th that finger's gonna be there, two, one. Second, uh, second string, third fret, ring finger, first finger on the second, third string, second fret, with the tongue twisters to do this. And then, Second finger on the first string, second fret. Again, I know this is not a technique lesson, but don't be judging this stuff out. All right, okay, so really quick, a common variation for the G chord looks like this. Four, three, zero, 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 whoop. One, two. We're gonna have a lesson on pivot chords later, but this. Or like G, G, add nine. Oh, I'm not, add nine was not in the, maybe we can do a bonus one. So in my book, I like to call anything other than a major minor a spicy chord, cause it's got a little bit of spice in there, right? So I wasn't gonna show you the add nine, but I'm gonna do it now. Because it looks just like that G, and it's very commonly used G, um, D major, and then C add nine. It goes zero and then two, one. Do you see how this looks just like that? All it is. There's a lot of songs that use that and my mind just went blank on how to play them. <laughs> So easy of chord change that was. And what I'm getting at is if you play like this and then like, oh, but now in this other song, I've got to do the, this thing. Dude, just play like that. And then that little movement is going to make your life way easier. Okay. Now, um, that's a bonus one. I wasn't going to give that to you because I want to give you a B chord because I know when you're playing music, a B chord may show up. So I'm going to give you a B power chord, actually. B5. So if you're playing a song and you need to play a B minor or a B major, you can just play this B5 and it'll sound great. Here's how, here's how you do it. First finger, fifth string, second fret, bada bing. Ring finger, you're gonna go over two, down one, which means that over two, like frets, boom, boom, down one. So this is gonna be on the um, fourth string, fourth fret. And you only play those two, hence all those X's. Okay, so there's your 10 most important chords that every beginner must learn first, plus a bonus one. And your job right now is to not speed them up, is just to memorize them. And when you memorize them, just do a little group, let's say two or three at a time. But get these down first, and then you'll be able to play tons of songs, things will come together, and be sure to check out our other videos where we talk about how to speed up your chord changes. Because step one, of course, is memorizing them. Then we need to go through a process of speeding them up 
getting them so that it's nice and smooth, okay? So make sure to like, share, subscribe this uh, for this video. If you have any questions on it, be sure to make a comment in the comment section below. And we do have a, I'll put this in the description, a, um, a little bonus, like a cheat sheet um, deal where um, I go over all the ins and outs of um, things you can do to speed them up. It works very, very well. So um, we'll see you in your next lesson, training, video, whatever it is. And uh, yeah.